Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm literally going to be doing a very short one today and it's going to be covering Wunderlist and a comment that I got from Kevin. Uh, so I, I'll make aware who Kevin is in the comments. Uh, he just uh, happily wrote a really lovely uh, reply uh, just going through some of the stuff on my to do versus Wunderlist video. So what I wanted to do is I just wanted to kind of clear one thing up uh, with everyone and something that I did miss in my Wunderlist review and then I think that should be taken into consideration. Um, so on Wunderlist uh, and on all of the platforms, uh, I did say in the previous video that um, intelligent input was a positive above Wunderlist and it's been made aware of my attention. I do believe I already knew this but I didn't think it was a strong enough feature but Wunderlist does have a form of intelligent input. So for example, and it does the same thing as to do this essentially. Uh, if I said, you know, eat lunch um, tomorrow at 1 p.m., uh, it would extract the information. And then as you can see, give me a reminder at that time. And then, uh, you know, it does all sorts of things. So uh, eat dinner at next Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Oh, it didn't quite get that one, but it got the date, right? So essentially it does the same thing um, as Wunderlist, uh, uh, sorry, as Todoist. Um, and it's something that really does allow the user to go a bit deeper and add tasks at speed. So I do apologize to everyone that I did miss out this feature on. Um, I was aware of it, but I didn't think that the rigid and the rigidness and strength of the feature deserved a kind of pat on the back because uh, Todoist does offer it out and it does like highlight it in each of the things so it kind of like gives you the opportunity to uh, you know pre preempt what you're about to input uh, which is much better than this because you could type something in and then go oh no um, <laughs> you know I might not want that thing when it's in uh, as a task already and it will regard push you to kind of edit the task later uh, and also I do, I do apologize in that video too um, for actually mentioning to do a and Wunderlist out of context. So I was continually chopping between the two and I did, uh, you know, I think at one point I did say like to do a list at the same time and I did call Wunderlist to do a and to do a Wunderlist. So I do apologize. Uh, the speed of that video was probably needed to be toned down. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of uh, just run over that feature. Uh, it is something that's in Wunderlist. It is something that is a cool tool. Uh, and it's something to go away and start using. So it's definitely, when you're thinking about going for Wunderlist or Todoist, it's something to consider. Uh, and as Kevin has pointed out, um, it is something out there. So anyway, thanks very much, guys. Um, if you guys have any more comments, you know, uh, I, I like being called out on these videos uh, because it helps me kind of bring atten attention and quality as much as I can uh, because I'm putting out large amounts of quantity. I'm going to make sure that I put out quality too. So thanks very much, everyone. Make sure you have a great week and keep productive, and I'll see you very soon. Thank you.